meditation. I'd like to read a passage of scripture uh, from the Gospel according to St. Luke. St. Luke uh, 12 verses 22 through 32. It reads as follows, And he said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, which ye shall eat, neither for the body, what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Verse 24, consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and God feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? And which of you, with taken thought, can add one inch to his stature, or um, well, could add to his stature one cubit? If ye then, being able to do that thing which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow, and they toil not. They spin not, and yet I say unto you that Solomon in all of his glory was not as arrayed as one of these. If God then so clothe, clothe the grass, which is today in the field, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe, O ye of little faith? And seek not what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of a doubtful mind. For all of these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your father knoweth that ye have need of these. But rather seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Uh, in this particular meditation, it would be just worrying won't make it better. This particular passage of scripture is just, uh, and it's all in the red, is Jesus letting the masses know that their worrying won't make their particular situations better. Many of us, we, we worry about all day long. We worry about our finances. We worry about our health. We worry about uh, the neighbors down the street. We worry about uh, impending job layoffs. We concentrate so much on the things that might happen, and we put so much attention on that which might happen that we, we rarely focus on what our gifts uh, what God has given us, you know, when he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God, we, we, we don't see the greatness of God as, as quickly as we look at the coming pending gloom and doom that we hear from our 24 hour rapid news feeds that we hear and, and it causes fear. Uh, look at verse 22. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought with ye sh for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for the body, what ye shall put on. Our God is a provider. And I, I tell folks all the time, you know, my wife and I have been through many a battle. Uh, we've had many a struggle together. But as I look back over my life, I can't help but tell you that I'm blessed. And, and, and now when things happen, we don't even worry quite as rapidly as what we used to because we've seen God show up time after time. And maybe you need to look at the rearview mirror of your life and look at how God saved you. He was a doctor in the sick room for you, or he was a lawyer in the courtroom, or when everyone had given you up, God brought you through, or when you thought that you would be on the street or your car would be gone and God showed up time after time. Uh, you know, we, we worry about things when God has proven himself. He's proven that his word won't return unto him void. He has proven to us that, that that he is a supplier and not a liar. He has proven that he's our El Shaddai, our all-breasted one. That he has proven that he's our Jehovah Jireh, the Lord our provider. He has proven himself to be our Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our healer, the Lord our physician. See, what I'm telling you, child of God, uh, uh, thank you, Lord, is, is that that we we is that we got to stop worrying. If you, uh, you know, what, what was the song a couple years ago it came on? If you're going to uh, worry, don't pray. And if you're going to pray, don't worry. Look, folks, God has shown up time after time. If you just took a uh, look at, uh, rear, at your rearview mirror uh, of what you've gone through and what God has already delivered you from, that should give you the fortitude to face your front windshield of your life. God is going to show up time after time. Hebrews 13 and 8 boldly states that Jesus Christ, the, uh, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. The book of James, James calls him, calls God the father of lights in whom there is no variableness, 
neither shadow of turning. He's not a, a, a wishy-washy God. He's not an ACDC God. He's the same God on yesterday as he's going to be on today as he will be on tomorrow. Uh, the scripture says in uh, St. Luke, Luke 12, 24, consider the ravens for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and God feeded them, how much more are ye better than the fowls? And, and verse 25, and which of you with taken thought can add one statue to his cubit? You, your worrying won't make it better. Why not trust God? Why not try God? God has shown up time after time. I don't care what the odds may be against you. The statistics may, may seem dark and gloomy, but we have a God that can overcome statistics. And we have a God that has beat the odds time after time on your life. Worrying won't make it better. You, you got a choice. You can worry yourself to a frazzle to where you, you're, where you're pill popping, or you can simply believe God. My God shows up time after time. My God never fails. Verse 30, 31, St. Luke 12, 31, but rather seek ye the kingdom of God and all of these things shall be added unto you. God knows what you need before you even ask for them. Verse 32, fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. God gets no glory from us looking like sad sacks or, or being beaten from pillow to post every day. Look, worrying won't make it better. Put your trust in Jesus. Put your trust in God. Our God, God can supply, God can heal, God can deliver, he can set free. Why spend time worrying when we serve a God? They said that his word will not return unto him void. Send God's word back to him and he'll deliver, set free, heal. He'll provide like none you've ever seen. Don't let the enemy torment you with fear. Fear has torment. That's why you're pill popping. That's why your hair is falling out. That, but whenever you stand up, let the faith in you stand up. God will show up and God will come through for you. Deliverance is real, still real in 2015. Just remember, worrying won't make it better. God bless you.